you've got a crossroad to hand. Now you have to choose. Do you want to see counters to the blueprint? Or do you want to take the next step? Do you think, when I say counters, that means the guy who's getting the blueprint, I can show you counters how to get out? Or, I'll show you another angle of the sector how you think is out. Take a Another sector. Take a sense. Okay, so, Mark, can I borrow? Alright, I'm going to give you a nasty one. This will really sink into the point. <laughs> now I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do this one with my back fist. Now he's not going to go out. Look, he's going to go across. So this is number two. Okay, just high in my hand. Okay, can you come closer? Because I'm going to keep going to do this one. Mark is going to throw across, right? And I can't do my sector because it's not, it's not the swing. Now here's what you do. What? See, my hand is near his head. I put my head to my own hand. Go. And I hit right on the chest. Here's the fucked up part. If he does it fast, it hurts on him. Because you have to twitch. So when you throw your cross, you do it slow. If you do it hard, you only do it one time in your life. Okay? So you're losing here. Boom! Right there, right on the solar plexus. So notice I'm using this to cover any potential shots. When you hit him here, right, depending on see where his head is, now you clear I don't need to move form. I just do a nice chop of the neck and I continue my blueprint. See so how the blueprint works? It's right? So again, good thing, there. He throws it right on his solar chest, right on his chest here. Notice I'm checking this one. If it's like this now, now you just chop the neck, push, and then you continue with the rest of your blueprint. <laughs> So when you do this, you throw the shit into the left leg. See, if your partner does this, you'll get hit that fast. Because you have to be faster, or else you get hit. So when you throw it, throw it slowly, or else the guy will be like, oh. Okay? So. Okay, now it gets even more fun. When I do this one now, now I'm going to do my Gunsi and I'm going to do my back fist, but now I'm going to do it wrong. The first two we did, it always ended here, so I hit him in the face. And now I'm going to do it wrong, so I don't hit him in the face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this, and then I'm just keeping it extended. Here, as I hit this, something fucks up, and my hand ends up here. So now I'm blocking sector 2. And now he's going to pull the punch from sector 1. See that? Okay. So again. I went here, boom. So when you're doing it, don't uh, don't try to punch punch an end of the face. So it's here, you put it like that. And then look, see how my hands are? He throws it, I guide it past. There's the weight. Now you hit. As you hit, you extend, there's the branch of the shot. So slowly, when you go here, boom, open. See? You guide it so it puts your weight. As it's going down, you hit the bicep here. There's a reaction. Now you hyper extend the arm. You can take this around back to blueprint. Okay? If you're a little bit angry, you can take it like this. There? Pass it. Go. There's the point. Now you switch. Now it's not going to work on you anymore. Too fast? There. As you do this, I want you to hit the arm and then open it like that. The reason why I'm doing this is because a lot of Sila and Filipino dancers, there's always this motion. So you're doing that, just part of that culture. Line. So a lot of the Sila stuff is always far away. But in this context, in this context, when I'm doing this, because I'm making it, I'm inviting him to punch me, and he has to punch me. There, that's the first mistake. That's how Filipino moms are. You say, Mom, I want to go outside and play. She says, no, but I want to. And then she goes, well, then go outside and play. And then you try it once, and you just smash your ass. <laughs> so that's how Filipino moms are. It's like a threat. You want ice cream? Oh, I get headaches. <laughs> so, so when you go here, there, there's the end. Bam, now you're there. But you need to hit him as he puts his weight. <clears throat> there. As you hit this, you hyper step. Just like the one we did yesterday. Well, and now you hit the big head. Right here. Boom, that fucks up the structure. Swing around. Back to your blueprint and execute. One more time. Good time. Bam, hit. Hyper step. Groin shot. Open, 
back to a blueprint. You see, I just say the word blueprint and it goes, yeah, check. Okay? So now you have your sector two. I will just take uh, sector four. Okay, I'm hurt very badly. Very badly. So, when you do the invitation like this, don't guide them off this way. Because it just goes that way. You guide them down to the ground. Here's why. There, you guide them there. Now when you do this, all his weight is on this leg. The time it takes him to shift away from here to there, I've already done those two. So you save time. You get it? So when you do this, there, Guy there, see? As you're guiding him, <laughs> there's the shot. Okay? So I know it looks like I'm doing it very fast. But in reality, it's not about being fast. Fast is one thing, but also timing. Right? When you do weaponry, you're not supposed to do it. That's old. How many of you want to go to 50, uh, 56k modem? Shit, you can't even download a song, you have to wait half the day. Right? So if you want weaponry, the only reason why it looks like I'm faster, is I'm not faster, but my understanding of timing is better. When you're doing motions, weaponry is right, you train properly, you work with sparring. And we're moving around. If I start working it like this, like that, I'm losing the essence of what this weaponry is. If you take uh, any person here, and I say, grab the stick, and I want you to do a shot, like that, that's around 200 kilometers per hour. That's how fast it is. Now imagine this, every other martial arts that work with weapons, where they're actually trying to fight with each other like that, where you actually have to hit each other, your attributes, your timing, your footwork, your speed, your time perception, all that stuff have to match the speed, aka 200 kilometers per hour. Why? Because then you get hit. If you get hit, you're injured. If it's a blade, this is actually a training tool for a blade. If it's a machete, your arm is chopped up. So when you train with weapons, you have to be faster, or else you get cut. That's just the stick. If we take a blade, different story. I don't need body torque. I just need to touch you, and everything's up. I touch you the wrong place, everything bleeds up. So you have to be faster. But, with that said, your weaponry allows you to understand timing. You cannot do like this. You have to do this. So it's full. Right? When you're sparring, how many of you do this? In sparring, in your tournament. Nobody does that. Everyone flows because you're faster. So your understanding of timing makes it look like you're faster. But it's not faster. You just have a better understanding of timing. So if I have a, if I have a timing, this is timing one, and this is timing two. Then you, how many here does music? You have full beat, half beat, second beat, right? But if you say, I can hit here, 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 here. That means you have this whole spectrum that allows you to hit this guy as many times as you want. Right? So when we go back to this one, here, I do my music now. Now I'm going to block number one. Now he's going to throw an uppercut. Throw an uppercut there. Here, he's going to guide this off. Like that. Look, because my hand is right here, so he throws it, and he's guiding off my face. Just like that. Pull this down, open up. When you open this one, don't just do it like this. Open like you're going to throw it. Like that. Just kind of his body. As you open his body, you hit. That's a good one. It gets too complicated, fuck that, yeah? There, it goes there. This gets too much, you cross up the cross. See, so you don't have to do all the blueprints. But for training, we'll do it like this, you screw it like a pass, you go back to the blueprint. Okay, so if it's too hard, we'll do it like this.
So, in what we teach at Pure Run, this is what you would call yeah. it's position. It's just like that, right? Yes. But it's it's almost it's almost close to us. We have a little bit here. So let's just play with that. Also. Now, when I do my jab with this. Number one, if they grab your wrist, your wrist and they push, what you do is break and you put them back. Show them purpose because I thought it would be too much info, but since you're all fucking up, so I'm not sure. So, when he pushes you, push you inside there. What you do is you duck under and you pop this elbow up. So, I pop there, pop up, and then you see the front arm and start to go up here. This hand goes from me, start to go down. There. Now, what I have to do is I have to take this leg and have to stand over this leg. Here. See? By setting in. This one goes. That's why I have this up. This is underneath my own hand. There. And I spin like you're doing your up to me here. Spin. This goes across the stomach like a body hug. Here. Grabs there and I go, ah, oh, yes, buddy. Now we're good. I don't put it here because you'll throw elbows to my face. What I do is I put it here. Because when I'm here, 
when I if I want to attack from here, right? All I do is I look, look here. See how I'm holding this underneath here. You know, I'm holding it like this. I just do this power ranger, push me. That control. What I'm doing is I do this and I push and put my hand on the spine, and then I go one knee to the table, and then I go back to my control. When I do this, usually one of his hands will pop up, and now that you're back to the room two that you did yesterday. And notice, you're two and one outside, to your two and one inside, almost looks like your blueprint. And now you can link up the stuff you did yesterday with today.